Hello, this is Caleb, and welcome to the first part of the fleet video. This is where we go through each and every single one of our aeroplanes that we own and fly, and give you a full, detailed, you know, overview of the aeroplane. And today, we are going to be reviewing my F4U Corsair. Now, the first thing uh, to show about this plane is the retracts. The, probably the reason why I got this aeroplane. One of the most unique retracts I've seen in a while, and well, it's the unique, one of the unique features of this airplane. Full twist and turns. Would be cool if it had gear doors, but pretty cool anyway. This also has flaps, not the full flaps you get on the airplane, real one, but they're good and they work really well. Nice and slow servos, so you don't get that ballooning effect. It's a uh, six channel, so it's got everything. So, rudder, elevator, ailerons, flaps, throttle, gear. It's, it's got really cool LED lights. So, red on the side, green on the other side, and landing lights, which are very... Well, just for show, really, on the ground. You don't really notice them when you... Now, this is a discontinued model. It's made by Durafly from Ho Hobby King. Um, Bought it in 2012, so it's very old, very rare to have lasted this long, but flies great still and is the pride of my hangar. This aeroplane also has, uh, it's not retractable, but it has a steerable tail wheel and a hook for catching arrestor wires. Now, it also has a scale cockpit with a pilot in it that's been cut off at the waist and some dials and the plastic in the cockpit is a bit yellow because it's old. It's alligator skinning, as you can see with the foam, uh, but it doesn't really um, make anything different when it's up there. It still flies very well, and it's got a really sweet four-bladed prop and spinner, and it also has a very detailed radial. All painted, the radial is in all black plastic, but it has got some pretty good detail. It's got, it's got exhaust stacks as well, uh, scale exhaust stacks, and radiators in the inner part of the wing. And if I open the battery bay, you'll see the two servos um, that are linked to the rudder and elevator. Each have two poles. The elevator goes to both of the elevators, so those are independent. So if one of them fails, you've still got the other one. And the two poles on the rudder goes to the tail wheel and rudder, which took a bit of trimming to get perfect. And you'll also see the ESC and my Orange RX receiver that I've got in there, plus a whole jumble of wires. Uh, this plane also came with uh, armament of two missile stacks of four that went under the wings, and two drop tanks that went under the inner wing. Um, just below the fuselage. I didn't, I choose not to put those on because they're very fragile and look like they'll come off mid-air. The retracts are servoless and have metal pins inside the uh, plastic scale housings which make them very reliable but they have been known to fail. Um, so that'll be interesting when it comes. Um, I've only crashed this once and the result of that was a broken propeller. It's, I've got about three of these very nose heavy when it when you come for landing gotta stick that tail down and we've come to the end of our first part of the fleet video i hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching and the video after this will be some flight footage of the corsair so stay tuned for that see you next time